What's up guys, it's Blur David again, and today I'm going to be talking about how did the Marvel Cinematic Universe change me in the last 10 years. So here we go. So basically, I think 2008 was a big year for everybody because there was a lot of good movies coming out. There was the Clone Wars movie, there was the Dark Knight movie, and then came out two MCU movies. Iron Man 1 and The Incredible Hulk. Um, well... If I'm being honest to you guys, I've never actually heard of these films until, like, later in 2010, because, um, I mean, I, I understand these movies are, are classics, you know, and they have been, like, with us, like, part of us since the beginning of the first Iron Man, and, um, I thought that was really cool, and, um, every time a new Marvel film came out, specifically for the MCU, I thought, this is awesome. Like, I loved how they're connecting all this into one big franchise. And then t later in 2013, I, I, I was looking up YouTube videos, and then I, I saw this video, like, Disney bought Marvel, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I thought that was cool. And, um, like, I had no idea Disney bought Marvel Studios back in 2010, because I'm just like... Well, yeah, Paramount isn't really much of a big of a movie company anymore because, like, I lost all my faith in it. But so far, they did really well with Iron Man's 1, 2, and 3, Thor 1, Captain America 1, and Avengers 1. And of course, you remember, Universal still has the rights to the Incredible Hulk. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the Avengers was a big deal in 2012. I was so obsessed. I... I had to watch all the movies, but I didn't watch all of them when when that movie came out. Um, and uh, I I tried to go see Iron Man three in the theater. I remember seeing, let's see, after the first Avengers came out, uh, I think like later in two thousand twelve, I saw a teaser trailer for Thor: The Dark World, and I thought that was pretty cool. I watched the trailer, and then. During that same year, 2012, I was looking on the Marvel website, and there were two movies that I was really excited for. Like, first, like, I knew about the Winter Soldier, like, the title of the movie, but I didn't know who he was. And then I remember the Comic-Con, like, test footage for Ant-Man, and I thought, that is pretty cool. And I was telling my friends, like, hey, do you know Marvel and Disney are making Ant-Man? And my friends are like, wait, they're making Ant-Man? <laughs> And I thought that was pretty cool, too. Um, I remember I was begging my mom to go see The Winter Soldier in 2014, but uh, that didn't happen. But at least I got the Blu-ray when it came out on the day, you know. And I remember seeing the first Guardians. Um, not the day it came out, but for one of my friend's birthday. And I thought that was pretty cool. My first Marvel movie to, like, in the theater. That was my first time seeing a Marvel movie in the movie theater ever, guys. And, uh, of course, as, as it keeps trending, you know, like, um, I remember Age of Ultron and Ant-Man were the biggest movies, Marvel movies of 2015. Uh, I wanted to go see Age of Ultron so bad. Ant-Man, I wasn't so sure. I mean, I wanted to see it, but I, I didn't know who wanted to take me to that. And, and of course, let's see, Thanksgiving of 2015... I saw the teaser trailer for Civil War, and I just thought, I'm going to go see this movie. And then I did, uh, when, it, when it came out. I saw it later in May, and then I, I, I went to go see it again with a few friends. And um, people always say, like, watch, always watch movies twice. So I, I did that for the first time with Civil War. And, uh, I mean, I'm glad I caught up. I'm caught up with my MCU homework, because the... The very first MCU Blu-ray I've ever got in my collection was The Winter Soldier, and then I just kept going up. But now, since I've caught up with my homework, like I said, I'm continuously buying all the movies in the right order now. So I don't have to, like, get them in different um, orders. But there are some re-releases I do want to buy, which I did get a couple this year. Um... Yeah, so every time a new Marvel movie comes out, I have to watch it. Uh, this is specifically for Phase 3. Um, because, you know, Phase 3 is, is so much bigger than the last two phases. Um, 
because, you know, it, it's over six films. Um, you know, because the first two phases had six films each. So now this one has like ten, and I just can't wait for... I mean, I can't wait for the end of it for next year, and then we'll see the start of Phase 4 next year. After Infinity War Part 2. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's all I wanted to say for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And tell me, how has the MCU changed you in the last uh, 10 years? Um... Did you start to watch the first Iron Man when you were little and then now you're just continuously um, watching the movies? I, I would like to know your responses. I'm hearing a bunch of noises. But um, yeah, so like I said, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. May the Lord be with you guys. Always love you guys. Peace.